All right, so our first example, we're gonna just be doing a table and a graph, okay? So we will complete the table and graph the parametric function. All right, so the first one, I have x equals t minus three and y equals two t squared minus five. And t is in the set of all reals, okay? Um, they won't put this on Alex. Oh, they'll put it in like actual words. Uh, t is all reals or something like that, I can't remember. Okay, uh, but just remember this little weird symbol means in the set. Okay, and this means all reals. Okay, so that means t can be anything. So this one's not really on a restricted domain. This is the one example that won't be, okay? Um, but what they will do is they'll have this chart for you to fill out, okay? You got x, y, and they'll just have you do certain t values. And so we got t is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. All right. And so we will go ahead. And the easy part is just we're just going to fill out our x and our y. Okay. And so our x right here is t minus 3. <coughs> Sorry. So you got negative 2 minus 3. Um, hopefully you know that's just negative 5. And then we do negative 1 minus 3, which would just be negative 4. 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, and 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So those are all of our x values, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, and then our y values are just going to be this. you got to do 2t squared minus 5. Okay, so you got 2 times a negative 2 squared minus 5. So remember, t is staying the same, but you're plugging it into different functions to get x and y. Okay, and so... Negative 2 squared becomes positive 4, and then 4 times 2 is going to become 8, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, and then we got 2 times negative 1 squared minus 5. Okay, so negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 minus 5 is a negative 3. All right, then we got 2 times 0 minus 5 squared. So that all becomes 0, and you're at negative 5. Um, just making sure I'm doing this right. So we're going to keep going 2 times 1 squared minus 5. Well, 1 squared just is 1 times 2 minus 5 is going to be back to negative 3. Because remember, these two end up being the same. Okay, because a one, negative 1 squared and a 1 squared is the same thing. Okay, we're going to plug in a positive 2, oops, sorry, positive 2 squared minus 5. That's going to be the same as the negative 2, right? Because positive 2 and negative 2 squared is the same thing. It's 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 minus 5 is positive 3. All right, so we have our two sets of values, and so we're going to go ahead and plot this graph. Okay, and so just kind of sketch a graph out. All right, and so my first point I'm going to plot, x and y, it's just like you plotted back in middle school, okay? You're no longer caring about the t values because you plug the t values in to get your x and your y, okay? So my first plot is negative 5, positive 3. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, okay? And the next one's negative 4, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, Next one's negative 3, negative 5. Ooh, sorry, this should have been over there. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then we got negative 2, negative 3. Which is going to be right there. And then negative 1, positive 3, which is right there. Hopefully you're noticing, oh, that looks like a parabola. And it is a parabola, okay? And so here we go. We have this, uh, this par parametric equation is the equation for a parabola, all right? And so this one goes like this, and it goes this way, okay? But really what we started with is here, 
and we came down, right? You went negative five to negative four to negative three and you went up. So our direction of this one, and I don't know on this topic if you actually have to put direction or not, is going this way, okay? And because we're in all reals, it goes on forever, okay? And I don't know if they'll have you put the arrows, but you wanna show that the direction's going down and then coming back up. We're going left to right in this case. All right, that's all you got for that one.